this isn't about me. Not anymore. You might have thought Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse is a movie about Miles Morales learning how to be a superhero, but that's only part of the story. This upcoming animated movie features no fewer than six different versions of Spider-Man, including familiar faces like Peter Parker and a few you may have never heard of before. Here's a quick rundown of all the major heroes and villains in the new trailer. Brooklyn! I'm the one and only Spider-Man. At least that's what I thought. He may not be the only Spider-Man in the movie, but Miles Morales, voiced by Shameik Moore, still looks to be the star of Into the Spider-Verse. In the comics, Miles debuted in 2011's Ultimate Comics Fallout No. 4, where he took up the mantle of Spider-Man after his world's Peter Parker was killed. In the movie, Miles is the only living Spider-Man in his world at the start. The trailer also features two important members of Miles' family. His father, Jefferson, is a heroic cop who has little love for costume vigilantes. Zip zap zap in his little mask and answers to no one. His uncle Aaron, voiced by Mahershala Ali, is a role model in Miles' life, at least until Miles learns about Aaron's criminal side. The trailer briefly shows Aaron as the costumed criminal The Prowler, and in the comics he also wears the Iron Spider costume, which you might remember from Avengers Infinity War. The movie will also feature Jake Johnson as the voice of the classic Peter Parker Spider-Man, who debuted way back in 1962's Amazing Fantasy No. 15. You're like me. That's impossible. This Peter is older and more seasoned than the MCU Spider-Man, and it looks like he'll be a mentor to Miles. Time to swing. Ah, Good, doing you're doing it. it. Double tap to release and whip it out again. Okay. Next up is Gwen Stacy, a.k.a. Spider-Gwen, voiced by Haley Steinfeld. Who are you? I'm Gwen Stacy. While Gwen was a major love interest for Peter in the 60s era Spider-Man comics, this version of Gwen is specifically based on the one introduced in 2014's Edge of Spider-Verse No. 2. In her world, it was Gwen, not Peter, who was bitten by a radioactive spider. How many more spider people are there? The trailer also introduces Penny Parker, a young Japanese heroine who pilots a mech suit called Spider. Penny was introduced in 2014's Edge of Spider-Verse No. 5 and was actually co-created by none other than My Chemical Romance frontman Gerard Way. On the darker side of the spectrum is Nicolas Cage as Spider-Man Noir. Hey, fellas. A character first introduced in 2009's Spider-Man Noir No. 1. He comes from a version of the Marvel Universe set in the Great Depression and is one of the only Spider-Men to carry guns in battle. Then there's the weirdest member of this spider team, Peter Porker the Spider-Ham who's voiced by stand-up comic John Mulaney. This could literally not get any weirder. It can get weirder. First introduced in 1983's Marvel Tales No. 1, Spider-Ham comes from a world where everyone in the Marvel Universe is a talking animal. Now, this is strange. The trailer reveals that at least two other major Spider-Man villains will appear in the film. The Kingpin, voiced by Liev Schreiber, looks to be one of the main antagonists of Into the Spider-Verse. You're gonna love this and he may be responsible for the accident that brings these alternate universe Spider-Men into Miles' world. The Kingpin is also joined by Scorpion, an armored villain with a deadly stinger tail, and Tombstone, a deadly mob enforcer. We also see brief glimpses of a mutated Green Goblin. Will we see full-blown Sinister Six in this movie? We'll know for certain when Spider-Man Into the Spider-Verse swings into theaters this December. Do animals talk in this dimension? Because I don't want to freak him out. Hopefully that helps sort out all of the heroes and villains in this animated adventure. For more Marvel movies, check out our review of Venom, as well as our breakdown of the trailer for X-Men Dark Phoenix. And as always, be sure to follow and subscribe on whatever platform you like to watch IGN.